Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Ah! Oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! We are so sorry. We didn't realize you were right there. Are you alright? I was gonna open the door. I, I wanted to. Where's Crane? Is he hiding in here? Has he left? I'm... I'm sorry. It's I... all right. It's it's okay. Calm down. We're not here to hurt you. Are you sure? Yes, Mr. Wolf can get a bit excited sometimes, but that's all over with now, I assure you. Now, what's your name? Rachel. Who are Who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Deary, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow. I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsmen cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsmen friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Look, Shortstack, we're in a bit of a hurry. Oh, okay. What Mr. Wolf is trying to say is that we came here for a very important reason, and you can help us out. Oh, and I'm Miss White, by the way. Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there... something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but... I'm still gonna have to search the apartment, so... Step aside, Kate. Oh, wait, please! I don't know if I'm allowed! Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. You could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh-huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. A butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Not here. There's no one here but me. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? 
Where do I can have my mom call you later or something? Finished yet? I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't is. a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Huh. That's funny. Uh, I distinctly remember telling you just now to not fucking lie to me! I don't think you get it. I'll gladly illustrate how much trouble you're in if you keep up the babe in the woods route. I have a lot of bullies in my life, Mr. Wolf. One more won't tip the kettle. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? You should be a lot more afraid of me and whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here, 
He was here, and he left. He went to the Pudding and Pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. Orders are orders. the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing! Nothing! You took everything from me! I have nothing! 